A few important definitions that I'm going to explain by means of an example. Rhino Limited is a manufacturer of safety surveillance cameras. The company is based in South Africa, listed on the JSE Limited, and has a 31 December year end. The company recently offered their 1,000 employees share appreciation rights. Immediately, you need to know that this will be cash settled. And when we refer to cash settled, you will have to debit either the expense or the asset. Remember, the expense will be the service provided by the employees. And then we need to recognize our employee cost and you will credit a cash liability. And once this is settled, you will debit the liability and credit bank account. Now, I'm going to write this down throughout our lecture. I want to indicate to you, this is the reason why you need to know your principles. When you read something, immediately you need to know what to do. Now, let's just take this one step back again. The company recently offered their 1,000 employees share appreciation rights at a strike price of 10 Rand. The offer was accepted by the unions on 1 October 2010. The following vesting conditions applies to the grant. All employees that are granted the share appreciation rights must stay in the company's employment for a period of two years from grant date in order for the rights to vest. Now, what will our grant date be in this scenario? The grant date will be the date when our entity and the other party enter into the agreement. In this scenario, they've indicated to us that the unions accepted this agreement on the 1st of October 2010. Therefore, this will be our grant date, the date when the two parties, entity and another party, enter into the agreement. Then, when will our measure date be? With measurement, you need to identify First, is this a transaction with employees or two, is this a transaction with other parties, which is not employees? If this is a transaction with your employees, your measurement date will be your grant date, which will be 1 October 2010. If this is a transaction with other parties, which is not your employee. The measurement date will be the date when the entity receives control over the goods or services. In this example, our vesting condition will be the fact that our employees has to remain in service for a period of two years. A vesting condition is a condition upon which should be met before the employees will be able to receive the share appreciation rights. Therefore, this is a condition that they need to meet and this will be the fact that they need to be in employment for two years. Our vesting period will be our two-year period and strike or exercise price. This is your price per share at which the owner will be entitled to buy or sell the shares and in this example will be our 10 rand. Then you can work through the definitions on your own. We have discussed this briefly. I want to look at vesting conditions. A vesting condition can either be one, a service condition or two, a performance condition. Now, what is a performance condition? This will be a vesting condition based on performance. What is a condition? This is something that should be met before shares or cash can be granted. Then performance conditions can either be a market condition or a non-market condition. Now, what is the difference? When we refer to market conditions, this will normally be when they indicate to you that the share price should increase to a certain amount. 
non-market conditions will be when they indicate to you in an example that the employee should be in service for about two years. Now guys, this two years can also form part of our service condition. Now let's just quickly read through the definition. Market condition. This is the performance condition upon which the exercise price, vesting or exercisability of an equity instrument depends that is related to market price. Non-market condition, performance condition upon which the exercise price, vesting or exercisability of an equity instrument depends that is not related to the market price. Therefore, guys, a non-market condition will be a condition that will not be related to market prices. Therefore, not a market condition.